Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk Algorithms. Today we'll be solving the problem longest substring with at most k distinctive characters. So the problem description states that given a string, find the length of the longest substring t that contains at most k distinct characters. So the given string is, for example, e c e b a, and the k is two. K is basically at most, um, uh, basically the maximum distinct characters allowed in a substring. So uh, Look, just looking at the string and the problem, um, it involves substring. So uh, the brute force approach to solve this problem uh, is find all substrings um, and calculate maximum characters with at most k characters and return the max out of all the substrings basically. So this is brute force, right? The time complexity is O of n square. This is pretty straightforward. You, you're going to use two loops uh, to basically find out all possible substrings. And then uh, basically for each substring, you can calculate the number of maximum characters um, with basically the number of characters uh, in the substring, which are less than k, less than r is equal to k. So this is fine, but uh, this is of n square to basically optimize the moment you see a substring and uh, um, basically you could use something like sliding window. So sliding window, if you are not familiar with this approach is basically uses two pointers, basically a left pointer and a right pointer. You can start, for example, with a right pointer, um, go through the traverse the string find out the maximum number of distinct characters at the moment. And the moment it reaches K, what you can do is you can move your left pointer. Um, let's start, let basically take this example, ECB, A, right? So initially you start with right is equal to zero and the number of distinct characters is equal to zero. The way you can track number of distinct characters is basically use a hash map or an integer array with probably like uh, the total last k character set length, so around 256 or something. So let's say you use a map and uh, to basically uh, identify that uh, whether you've seen a character before or not. What you can do is uh, let's start with the first character E. You haven't seen uh, E in the map before. So what you're going to do is uh, increment the number of distinct characters um, and uh, also in use the count. So count is basically one now and R is zero. So let's say R is at one. When R is at one, uh, it's C as a new distinct character two and the count is two. And the third character is when R is equal to two, um, number of distinct characters is still going to be two because we already seen E before, but the count is going to be three. So uh, basically you can have something like a max, which you can refill uh, every time you calc you have a new count value. So max would be basically ma map dot max of max comma count. So which will be three now. But what happens is when you are at example r is equal to three, you see a new character. So distinct number of distinct characters now is three, which is greater than k, k is two. So what you can do is um, you can move the left pointer right now. What you're going to do with the left pointer is um, remove the, move the left pointer basically um, until you find you move the you have the number of distinct characters is basically less than or is equal to k you move the left pointer so for example e you can remove e from the map so the number of distinct characters is now um, two right because wait uh, it won't be two when you remove e because e has two occurrences right so you can decrement um, the basically e value and it will still be one. So you can't remove it from the number of distinct characters. So now left pointer will be at C, for example. And when you remove C from the map, uh, C only has one occurrence. So the number of distinct characters will be two. So while the number of distinct characters is less than or is equal to K, 
you can move the right pointer. So the right pointer now will be at example B. Uh, the number of distinct characters will be three because we have this and B is a new character. And what you're going to do is you'll move the right character again. Right word, uh, left was for example uh, at one before, which is C. Now it will be at um, two because we'll remove E. Distinct characters will be two. Um, yeah, sorry, I um, it's, it's basically moving the left pointer and right pointer uh, with a length of uh, window, basically. The sliding window between left and right should have maximum distinct characters K. So this way, uh, we can basically um, amortize complexity will be O of N because we just do a single traversal and uh, some mini traversals basically to move the left pointer but uh, the amortized complexity will be off and let's put this in code you'll better understand so let's do a input check if s is equal to null or s dot length is equal to zero you can just basically return zero right and let's have a map so you can go for a hash map or you can just use an integer array with 256 characters because um, this ASCII length, assuming the input is, is uh, only ASCII characters. So you can have a length left value uh, zero, right index zero, number of distinct characters basically is zero initially and a max which is zero. So what are we going to do? We start with the right pointer so R is already initialized uh, for R less than S dot length R plus plus. So what are we going to do is um, check if a map, if the value basically exists in the map. If this value is zero, right? then what you're going to do, this is a new character. So it doesn't exist in the map, so it's a new character. What you're going to do, you increase the number of distinct characters. So now that we've done that, uh, what we can do is we can actually increase the value. So, so for example, the first time you see um, E in the map, you increment the E value in the map. And what, we can, what you can do is, if distinct E is greater than K, right? For example, at index B, for example, um, the, number, the distinct value will be like three, which is greater than K. So as I said, we'll move the left pointer. How are we going to do that? First, we'll um, remove the, the character at the left pointer by decrementing it. And after decrementing it, we can check if it has now zero occurrences because uh, a character can have more than um, one occurrence. So if it is zero, what we can do is we can decrement the distinct and increment increment the left pointer. So when we are at B, we start the left pointer now. We are at E, we remove E. We check if the value of the E in the map is zero. It is, it is not because E has two occurrences. So we go until C here. And after we do that, what are we going to do is at the end of the each loop, you can calculate the max. Max is math dot max of max comma right pointer minus left pointer plus one. Basically it's the size of the window. And eventually you return the max. So you add the character um, in the map, check if the character is new, then add distinct. If distinct size is greater than K, then you move the left pointer so that the size of the window between left and right have only like K distinct characters. So that is what the sliding window here means. Uh, if you put this out on a paper or just print the basically uh, I and J, you'll better understand how, uh, sorry, the left and right, you'll better understand how the sliding window is moving. Let's run this, see if it works. Uh, it's supposed to be R. Been using index I a lot, so. 
this is L. Right, let's do this. Distinct plus plus line seven. If map of S dot car at R is equal to zero, distinct. Right, what does it say? It's a typo. All right. Great. So we are expecting three and we got three. We can change just change the test case. For example, something like this. You can see now this substring has the maximum. This substring has the maximum number of max length basically and only has two distinct characters, which is what we want, right? So ideally that should be the value. Yes, uh, output is seven and expected is seven. Let's submit the code. Yep, uh, ran in two seconds, almost beats 100% of the solutions. We used a um, integer array instead of a hash map that makes it a little more faster than a hash map. You guys can change it and see if, uh, basically how it affects the complexity. If you like the video, please subscribe um, to the channel and uh, like the video. Thank you so much.